Yo, what's good, yo? It's your boy. New video. You know what I mean? We got Venus and the sign of Cancer, and we're gonna talk about what this means, right? Venus is a feminine planet. Uh, make it rule over women. But some of the other things that Venus represents is it's gonna show basically how you relate to others and kind of like your love language, basically, right? Now, I always tell you guys, right, when you're looking in a the chart, there's multiple areas that you have to compare to see different sides of ourselves depending on what we're trying to look for in the chart. So if you want to see your love language and how you relate to others, look at your Venus and Cancer, for my Venus and Cancer people, but also look at the sign and also any planets that are in the seventh house, as this is also going to show how you relate to others and kind of like that love language, basically. All right? So compare that, these two areas. Now, Venus can also show what you value, right? And since it's what you value, it's what you can bring to the table, basically. Now, it's also going to show how you can make money, right? And compare this with your second house. Your second house is a tourist house. This is your finances, how you make money. So compare these two areas, second house and Venus, basically. And then in terms of a man, right, in a man's chart, Venus will show his ideal uh, wife, basically, the archetype, right? Now, um, Venus can also show strengths and blessings and a nighttime chart. I did another video on daytime versus uh, nighttime charts and if you have a nighttime chart, look at the house that Venus is in. It can show where you have blessings as well as the signs of wherever Libra and Taurus is, which is what Venus rules over. Look at the houses those are in and those are possible um, other areas that you can have like strengths and blessings depending on other things which I talk about in that video. Right, so let's continue. In terms of how you relate to others and your love language. Now, Cancer is a sign ruled by the Moon, so it deals with emotions. Cancers a lot of the time are very caring, very very caring individuals, right? And they value deeper connections. So this would be kind of like how you relate to others in your love language. You need deeper connections. Um, you're very protective, very mothering, very nurturing bit sensitive, maybe even moody, you know what I mean, in your relationships, but you're very caring. Um, cancer is a very caring type of energy, so this would be how you show up, how you relate to others, you know what I mean? Now, in terms of what you value, right, you value the home, you value family, which is also what cancer represents. Um, Venus is the planet of beauty, right? Cancer is the sign of the home, so a lot of times what you'll find is that most people, right, that have Venus and Cancer, they pretty much like their home to be have beautiful aesthetics. Nine times out of ten, if you go to their home, they like it to be in order. They just like it to be looking nice, basically. Um, it can also show forth for your mother because Cancer rules over the mother. Um, she could have been someone who also liked her home to be beautiful. Um, she may have like a diplomatic type of um, demeanor to her, basically. She could be very attractive with Venus coming through Cancer as well, too. Since you value home and family, um, again, you bring a certain level of maternal type of energy, right? This is your value, but this is what you bring to the table. You bring a certain level of maternal energy and a protective type of energy as well, too. You know what I mean? Your value is just how, how caring you are. That's what you can bring to the table. You know what I mean? Some may not see this as valuable, but everybody doesn't have the ability to be family-orientated, nurturing, protective, and caring. So just keep that in mind as this can be a valuable asset. In terms of how you make money, right? Now let's talk about some things that cancer rules over, right? Cancer rules over the stomach. So you guys can make money through cooking, catering. Uh, it also rules over the home. So this can be literally real estate or this can be homes away from homes like motel, hotel industry, um, interior designing, especially with Venus coming here, through here, the planet of beauty, um, coming through the home, the decorating. Um, this can also be the type of work to where you're a healer since you love to care for others. Nurses you can be seen with this placement. Um, yeah, nurses, it could be like um, doctors of some sort, healers. These are just some examples. You may also make money either working from the home or either working with family. It doesn't have to show up that way, but that's one example since that's what cancer rules over. And I just want to pull this phone, but I want to make sure I'm not missing anything else. Could be a landlord, like I said, real estate. Um, cancer rules over the water element, so this could be a fisherman, seaman, professional swimmer, lifeguard, therapist, nurse, like I stated. Um, even a housewife, since it deals with the home, you know what I mean? I don't know if that would be considered a career, but maybe an ideal, since you value home, you could be a good housewife if you are a woman, possibly, right? Again, look at what's going on in the second house. 
I'm gonna link a video I did on um, you know, occupations that fall under each sign, and you can look at that to see what's going on in the second house, and look at occupations for that sign, and also the planets that rule over it. I explained them more there. Um, now, ideal wife in a man's chart. You need a woman who's about family. It's that simple. It's, it's, it's pretty much it. You need a woman who's about family, who's very nurturing, healing, who can um, you know, cater to your needs. You know what I mean? You may, since you value home and family. You may also like a woman who's like that, but also is again that that um housewife. Yo, so look, check this out. So I missed this part of the video, um, and I needed to add this in to give all of my fellas a little extra information. Um, one of the things that I forgot to mention basically was that you can look in the house that your Venus sign is in, and that's basically going to tell you a little bit more about the ideal wife archetype in terms of the woman that you would need, right? So what you do is look to see which house Venus is in. So each of the 12 houses correspond with a zodiac sign, right? And that will basically give you further information in terms of the other keywords that would describe your wife archetype. If your Venus is in the first house, it's an Aries house. So you will also need a woman who has Aries qualities. If it's in the second house, you will need someone who has Taurus qualities because that's a Taurus house. Third will be Gemini qualities. Fourth is Cancer. Fifth is Leo. Sixth is Virgo. Seventh is Libra. Eighth is Scorpio. Ninth is would be Sagittarius, 10th is Capricorn, 11th is Aquarius, and 12th is Pisces, right? So you basically will look, it's another uh, video that I'm going to link to this video that I already did on keywords associated with each sign, basically, right? But yeah, just check to see um, that sign. It's going to give you more qualities in terms of the, the ideal woman that you would need, right? So I just wanted to throw that in there as extra game, you know what I mean? Hopefully it'll help y'all. If you have a nighttime chart, look in the house like I stated before that Venus is in. That will show you have blessings and strengths. Um, for the most part, there could be other things that change that, but that's just one dynamic, you know what I mean? This video was very short. I appreciate your time, though. We got more videos coming soon. Holla at your boy.